वेलकम लर्नर आई एम डॉक्टर आशुतोष कुमार भट्ट एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर स्कूल ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड आईटी उत्तराखंड ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी हल्द्वानी आई होप द टॉपिक डिस्कस टुडे विल डेफिनेटली बेनिफिट यू आवर एक्सेसर इज लिंक्ड विद एक्सएमएल सो यू कैन सी हियर इन दिस एग्जांपल वी हैव वन एक्सएमएल कोड इनसाइड दिस एक्सएमएल कोड वी हैव बीन वी हैव बीन द सीडी डेटा uh and uh, catalog data and inside the catalog we have different uh, movie uh, different cds and uh, inside the cd we have uh, the detail of that particular cd title of cd artist uh, who is the artist of that cd and uh, recorded uh, music on the, the cd and country usa company name of company and the price of the cd and year in which year the uh, it is released so this is the catalog this is the first row and then accordingly we have multiple rows uh, inside this catalog so this is simple as xml program xml we have written here xml version 1.0 and encoding utf8 uh, so this is uh, written here but uh, we don't have we don't Uh, have added any accessor file with this uh, xml code now and they, its name is code catalog dot xml now we are uh, connecting we are inserting one more line uh, after the first row after the first line and in this line we will connect we will associate with the accessor file uh, so we have to format the data Uh, we have to display data in this format so this is this we want the output so this is the formatted output and border particular uh, type of border we have been table and inside the table we have uh, table heading and then table data and accordingly we have to display this uh, data and my collection my cd collection will be the heading but uh, that everything is not in this xml file we don't have any table we don't have any heading we don't have any border style formatting kuch bhi nahi hai isme so uh, we have to add one more accessor file that's why we are adding accessor file so link the accessor style sheet to the xml document so we we are linking here accessor style sheet with the xml document so you can see uh, here uh, uh, the accessor what is accessor i i am also explaining you about the accessor so accessor um, does not use predefined tag and therefore meaning of each tag is not well defined this is xml in case of xml in xml we don't have any predefined tag and uh, therefore the meaning of tag is not well understood so their meaning is not well understood uh, while in case of html the meaning of each tag is understood like bold tag italic tag table tag border tag so we have so many tag and attributes and a table element could could indicate the html table a piece of furniture something else uh, and browser do not know how it to display so xsl so xsl sheet xsl describe how the xml element should be displayed so basically this uh, so you can uh, see this line you notice this line this is last line accessor describe how xml element should be displayed how to display the xml uh, xml uh, file xml data how to display the xml data in which form the xml data will be displayed so it has to be um, uh, decided by the accessor file so uh, you can see here in this program uh here we have you can see uh, this is the basic xml file and we don't uh, added any xsl file but now we are adding one xsl sheet so we have written here um, uh, we have written here xml style sheet xsl it is called xsl xml style sheet type text oblique accessor and href hyperlink we will hyperlink it Uh, we can write here c colon slash or d colon slash or any server name also we can mention here href cd catalog dot xsl so cd catalog dot xml is this file so this is the file cd catalog dot xml and but there is no accessor sheet in this file and now we are 
adding one XSL style sheet, XML style sheet, and this is called XML, uh, not XSL, XML style sheet, but its type is text of the XSL, XSL, XML style sheet, and uh, hyperlink the CD catalog dot XSL. Its extension is XSL, not XML, and uh, rest of the program will be same. So uh, if you have an XSLT compliant browser, it will nicely transform XML into XSTML. This is called XSTML into XSTML. So uh, we have to uh, we require XSLT compliant browser. So advanced browser, all the advanced browser, maybe this uh, XSL uh, XSTML compliant browser. So now see the XSL sheet. So this is uh, catalog, uh, CD catalog dot XSL. So then you create a XSL style sheet called CD catalog dot XSL with transformation template. So it will be started again by XML version 1.0 and encoding we will write here. The same encoding is here. And XSL style sheet we will write here XSL style sheet and version 1.0. Its version also be mentioned here. Like XML version we are writing here, same way we are writing the style sheet version 1.0 and XML NS. It is called XML namespace. It is XML namespace uh, co full colon XSL HTTP colon double slash www.3.org.1999 XSL transform. So this transform is the namespace of the XSL namespace. So you can see it again and uh, this namespace you can see the namespace here also XSL namespace in this program it is given the, uh, to get access to get access to the XSLT element attributes feature we must declare XSLT namespace at the top of the document. So this is XSLT namespace. It, is, it will be same in all program. So this line will be same in all program, and this will be also same. Uh, the version may be changed. XSL transform. So XSL uh, XS XML NS colon XSL equals to HTTP colon double slash the word wide web colon dot w three dot org slash one nine 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 slash XSL slash transform point to the office W3C of official W3C World Wide Web Consortium XSLT namespace. If you use this namespace, you must also include attribute version 1.0. So we have to use this namespace as because this XSL is defined inside this namespace. So you have to mention it in this XSLT namespace. So this is the correct style to writing the program of XML. And now see again. Uh, now I am coming on the same program. You can see here. And in this program, we have this uh, XML XSL style sheet version 1.0 XML NS and this has written. And then we will write XSL template match slash. So this template will match. So when this template will match. So here template will not match, here also not match, here also not match. So here in this post position it will match, right? So we have to see uh, the template match, uh, this sign, and then we will write HTML, then we will write body, body will be closed here, HTML is closed here, and then we are writing here H2 heading my CD collection. So it will be displayed here my CD collection, and we can right here center tag also uh, so that uh, if we want to display my city collection on the center of the first line uh, however this is uh, by default left align and uh, then we are writing table border equals to 1 so this is table border 1 and it will be change agar aap isko change karte hai, to ye, ye change ho jayega accordingly and then first row tr bg color we have mentioned here bg color and title and artist we have given here table heading title table heading artist so you see here title and artist of the uh, table heading and we have changed the color so we have given the color code also here so this is the closing of first row then we are writing for loop 
so this is the for loop of xsl uh, xml and xsl so here we have written here xsl for each and xsl for each is closed here so you can see here see here this is for loop xsl this is xsl for each this loop is started from here and xsl for each this loop is closed here so this is for loop and in this for loop in this for loop select catalog oblique select catalog slash cd so you can see here uh, catalog and then cd inside catalog we have cd cd element inside the catalog element we have cd element so uh, when catalog and cd element will occur as we will select catalog cd catalog cd as we will select this cd under catalog then uh, we'll come inside the tr and inside tr we have td and uh, we have xsl value of select equals to title value of select equals to title means first element we are selecting here title so this is title equals to title and uh, it will be uh, closed td is closed here so we'll write the value of select title so value of select title is this empire mm, mm, is that this one so we have uh, selected this one and again uh, td slash td and we have written here xsl value of select artist so we have given here value of select artist so it is closed here value of select artist and Mm, this is closed, TR is closed after that and this is for loop and again and again this for loop will attribute uh, till the time uh, we have um, all the up to the all data it will uh, run uh, again and again so this is for loop this is called uh, XSL for loop and XSL for each and inside this we have given this so XSL colon value of select and xsl colon for each this is loop and value of select is the uh, representing the element so we have many element uh, but we are selecting title and uh, we are selecting title and artist only title and the second one is the artist we are selecting only two these are called value of select value of select Ti value of select title value of select artist you can see here value of select title value of select artist it is inside this so table will be closed and body will be closed here xml xsl template will be closed and xsl style sheet will be closed so you can see here xml template as well as xl xsl style sheet so this way we can display the whole element and uh, you can see in this program we have only one row and uh, we have given here dot dot means rest of uh, we are not uh, we have not given here so uh, uh, we'll write this way and this way we can print the xml program so uh, i hope that uh, you understand this program and uh, xml the program are a little bit complex than html program html is uh, uh, rather uh, xml it is very easy and uh, in xml we need to understand the xsl also and in next lecture we'll discuss about the dtd which is also part of the xml and uh, again i hope that you have um, learned this and you have understand this and uh, i request you all to subscribe the video and don't forget to push um, bell icon of um, my youtube channel thank you